So hello and welcome to Dami Tries This. I hope you brought your cuppa. Today's coffee mug was given to me by my oldest daughter. I'm not quite sure where she found it, but she gave it to me a couple months ago and it says, kiss today, hello. Something that I am trying to do with joy. <laughs> We've been having a lot of rain and gray days and ickiness lately, and I just don't deal with that. I have a uh, mild case of uh, seasonal affective disorder. So these gray days are really starting to get to me. Kissing today, hello, with some kind of cheerfulness. Mm. Anyway, today's tea is the Tetley Chai Dark Chocolate. Um, this is an older tea. I have shown it on my uh, channel before, uh, just a long time ago. And I'm down to, I was down to three bags. I've now only got one in here, little sachets. These sachets are a little different. It's not quite a chunky tea, but the little sachets, sachets, we're already starting today, is round. It's, um, feels a little bit chunkier than, say, my stash teas. Um, but anyway, yeah, it's getting time to get rid of this. And so, and I kind of wanted something with some deep, dark, warmth to it. So this seemed like the perfect tea. Um, no milk in it, so we'll have to see how chocolatey it tastes. And it's been steeping for just a little bit, so let's give it a try and see how it goes. Okay, so yes, you get chocolate, but it's kind of a, a bitter, almost a bitter chocolate. I think some milk in there would have probably lightened it up a little bit. Um, and possibly just a touch more sugar for once, but I'm trying to cut back on that. So hopefully that's not going to, that's not going to be too much of a problem later as it steeps longer and probably gets deeper and darker in the flavor. It is good. It just has that slight bitter aftertaste that I, I think works, but I think I'm going to have to get the rest of it. There is a chocolate flavor to it. I do like that. Um, two tea bags might have been, have been a bit much. However, I think one tea bag might have been a bit weak, even though this is a nice tall uh, mug. It is also a bit on the narrow side. So as you can read below, we are going to be doing our first update for our reverse rouge. But first, we got our ear fleet for the month. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Not too sure about what's coming up with the Ear Fleek. I did do their little quiz recently, and they had no dangles. And I don't do studs, because my ears don't like studs. So I'm a little nervous about what's in this package, and what I will be getting in the future, because I don't like studs. They don't work for my ears very well. These feel like they're chunky earrings. Oh, they are chunky earrings. Oh my. And I'm not going to be able to wear them. They have studs. So um, they're kind of cute. They have a little leopard print type thing on them. I don't think my oldest would wear these too. But as you can see, they're stud earrings. So I'm not even going to try to put them on. Uh, they are cute. If they had a hoop in them, I, I would probably go ahead and give them a try. But I will have to say that this is not something that I would wear on a regular basis or much at all, just from the patterning on them. Um, I remember seeing a number of these in different colors, but these are not earrings that uh, would suit me. Fortunately, this is only like a $2.99 subscription, so losing one set of earrings out of the, you know, most of the time that I've been there, not a big deal. Alrighty, so we're going to move right along and get to our Reverse Rouge Challenge. Uh, the Reverse Rouge Challenge was created by, as far as I know, Christina Chang. And bas the basic idea is to, instead of spending $1,000, if you to get to Rouge on Sephora, you have to spend about $1,000, I believe. Uh, so instead of spending $1,000 in a year, you're trying to use $1,000 in a year. And um, I'm already <laughs> kind of expected to not have be up 
to where I needed to be for my first one, but it's a little far behind. I figured I needed to use about $84 a month worth of product, and I'm $109 behind already. So it's going to be interesting to see if I can catch up and, and actually make the challenge. I have a uh, all my notes down, and it tells me what the product is, what the original price was, how much of it I used, and then I have the total spent on the side. How much have I used? I'm not counting the entire product if I didn't use the entire product this year. So if I had a product that was halfway full uh, on January 1st, and I used it from January 1st to now I used it up, I'm only counting the half. So some of these are going to be really low numbers, as in I think one of them is less than a dollar, but that has a lot to do with how much was in the tube when I first um used it this year and getting to now. Um, not going to be a whole lot of cosmetics in here, I don't think. I'm honestly thinking about the only things that I'm probably going to be able to use up in cosmetics are things like lipsticks, uh, eyeliners, things of that nature. So I'm only counting how much I used unless it's a product that's kind of like a mascara where whether you use it all or not, something, you, you know, after three months, essentially, you have should throw it away. I go to five, sometimes six, but anyway, let's get into this. I'm just mumbling along as usual. So the first thing on my list is this Diva Curl Leave-In Decadence. Um, I love this stuff. Um, my hair loves this stuff. I do not love the price of this stuff. It is really, really expensive. However, my hair really, really loves it. And yes, I know my hair is kind of out there a little bit today, a little on the fuzzy side. Um, wintry weather is not a curly girl's best friend, unfortunately. Um, but this conditioner really, 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 my hair loves it a lot. This really brings out a lot of my curl. Um, I got this in a mini set. They have these little mini trial sets. And I don't know if they've made them permanent, but it used to be that they would uh, bring them out every so often. And in each trial mini set, you get four products. And the mini set costs $20. So this is about $5. And I actually ended up using all of this this year. So this is $5 of use. As for what I would buy it again, I already have. So next I have the Elemis Superfood Face Wash. I actually picked these up, pick up a couple samples. They had some samples just for shipping, I think, um, late last year. Um, I do enjoy the face wash. It's just for the price. It's just a little pricey for me. I one of the things that I really love about this is the scent. So fresh, almost minty. I just, I love the smell of it. However, as a face wash, it pretty much works like everyday face wash. It doesn't seem to do anything particularly special or extra or anything of that nature. Uh, you can see on here where I managed to make the line. This uh, is a $3.40 bottle. So I've used about 85 cents of it. Maybe a little bit more because the bottom, when you push things down to figure out where the product is at, this part here is so much fatter than up here that, you know, you can't sit there and go in the middle and say you used half of it because you're going to have more on the bottom. But I'm just going to go with 85 cents because it looks like I used about a fourth of it. I do like it. I actually received uh, another one of it in my Ipsy bag this month. However, it's not something I would buy just because of the price. And I do have a face wash that I like that Works just as well and is much more affordable. So next is my Jack Black's uh, Intense Therapy Lip Balm. This has skin protectant, broad spectrum sun, sunscreen, and this is in the Natural Mint and Shea Butter. It has an SPF of 25. I love this stuff. Um, I have two other <laughs> two other tubes of it. In the house, I need to pick up another one because one of those is about to run out. Um, but yes, I really, really love this stuff. This stuff saved my lips. When I first picked it up, um, my lips were really chapped and dry. It was um, two winters ago, so 2017 in winter. And my lips were really chapped and dry. And I started using this only at night. 
and it soft it took care of it it softened up my lips and um, I don't have chapping I don't have dryness anymore I now keep one out in my living room for during the day after I take off all my makeup and I keep one in my bedroom to continue to use as a night therapy this is an eight dollar um, lip balm however I think it is worth every penny and I have used about four dollars of it so probably a little less, less maybe three but I'm going to count it as $4, and I've got two more going, which will probably also get used before the end of the year. So we are currently at $9.85 on my Reverse Rouge. So my next product is the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Mephora Oil Intensive Hydration Leave-In Milk with Fig Extract and Babao, I don't know how to pronounce that word, oil. Um, this was one of my first curl box this came from my first curl box, essentially. I got the line with the shampoo, the conditioner, the milk, a gel. One other thing that I'm not thinking of for some reason. No, not the mask. I bought the mask separately. Anyway, um, this stuff saved my hair. Uh, this is one of the first products I received when I started trying to take care of my hair. Um, my hair, I had been using, you know... 199 shampoos and conditioners uh, just because of the price they had all the crap in them that you're not supposed to have in your shampoo and conditioner especially if you're a curly girl and um, my hair was dry and fuzzy and had it had some curl but it had no definition um, it was better than what it would look like in high school when it looked like I had a fuzzy triangle on my head with almost nothing in it but it was still pretty bad and pretty dry. My hair soaked this line right up. I do believe this is the first bottle. And the reason I say that is this is actually a very, very thick, thick, really thick uh, consistency when you get it. And to me, it was almost too thick. And then I had read somewhere that somebody else said to her it wasn't a milk because of that heavy thickness that it has so she would water it down so when I got it down far enough I watered it down and that's what made it last so long because this has been almost a year now um, so I water these down to use them to get more of a creamy um, not necessarily thin but thinner consistency than what it is n normally and it goes in my hair right after I'm done in the shower. I don't even leave the shower. I just flip my hair over and put this, rake this in and then squish it in. And um, it's amazing. My hair, my my hair clumps and curls and it, and it just soaks this stuff up. I highly recommend this if you're uh, looking for something that is really, really moisture rich and your hair is dry. Um, I'm not sure if this is a product has protein in it however so if your hair is protein sensitive you'll want to check the ingredients on that anyway this is $11.99 and while it is very difficult to um, judge correctly how much of it I have used um, I do have two other bottles of it in my bathroom each of them at halfway and I know I used most of this last year um, I'm assuming that I go about half to two-thirds um, of the milk and then the rest of its water. Um, I'm going to count this as $5.99 on my uh, Reverse Rouge just because it's going to be challenging. Um, later in the year when I bring out another bottle, it'll be much easier to say, yes, I use half of it because of the amount of water and stuff. But uh, we're going to go with $5.99, which puts us at $15.84 for my amount so far and like I said I already have two bottles so yes I would repurchase I highly recommend this line I love this line I just wish Shea Moisture wasn't so expensive that's all and even it's not the most expensive thing I have so next I have my Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Hydration Serum this is another Holy Grail hair care product uh, I use this early on in my after wash routine Generally, I do my milk, then I do a heavier leave-in conditioner, something that's not, um, something that soaks up some of the moisture, and then this makes my curls very juicy. 
Uh, this brings a lot of that moisture back in. It can also help uh, support the gels that I use and can actually be used as a light gel on its own. Um, I've already purchased two more bottles of this. I have one that's going and one that's a backup. This costs $9.25 and from my line, right about here, I figure I have used about $2.31. This is an excellent serum and another thing that I highly recommend if you have dry hair. I, again, this is something I got early in my journey. Um, the um, <clears throat> Manuka Honey line came in a subscription box. I bought this separately and it came in a separate box and it came about the same time or just after that first subscription box and I have been using it ever since. So this is a holy grail item and yes, I will continue to keep repurchasing it. My hair loves it as well. And if you need moisture, definitely, definitely consider picking this up. This is my little bucket that I'm keeping all my stuff in. So I'm slowly emptying it out. This is the one, one absolute uh, cosmetic thing in my bucket this time. I'm not expecting to be able to get through much in terms of the actual makeup. Um, highlighters, blushes, all that stuff lasts forever. I might get through one or more of my foundations by the end of the year. Um, almost all of them are new, fortunately. Uh, lipsticks, I'm going to have to figure out a way to um, judge and I haven't been doing it. I suspect I'm gonna have to weigh them. But anyway, talking about this, this is the IT Superhero Mascara. I got this in a BoxyCharm in October. I used it up until uh, about the middle of February and um, October, November, December, January, February. That's about as long as I'll go on a mascara. It's just you're supposed to throw them out after every three months. I try to push it to four or five months. However, this was starting to get clumpy. And with my eye issues, I have to be very, very careful because of that. So I figured it was time to go. I had hoped to make it through to next month. But like I said, with the clumpiness and my eye issues, I just didn't want to take the risk. Um, it's an okay mascara. I wouldn't pay $24 with for it, to be honest with you. But I'm much happier with mascaras that are a bit lower on the scale. Um, my favorite mascara is the Urban Decay uh, Perversion, and I can get one of those for $11. I enjoy using the Maybelline uh, Great Lash as a base. I can get that for $5. Um, so yeah, I tend to go on the lower end and prefer sample sizes on mascaras than to full sizes because you have to throw so much product out. Anyway, as I was saying, this was $24. I think I used about six of it going by the months. Um, not something I'd repurchase. It was an okay mascara. I reviewed it. It's fine. Nothing that I would pay $24 for. So next, I had to do these by ounce. Uh, for a while there, um, the Hush app was giving little samples. That's how I found this and how I found another one. Uh, this is the uh, liquid blender cleanser. I, I can't say that it's really special, honestly. The blender cleanser is $2.60. I can get a lot more of my Ajax um, antibacterial dish soap that I prefer to use for less. <laughs> and I think the dish soap, especially with the antibacterial, does a does a decent job. Um, just, just, it's okay. It's a soap. You can use it on your, you know, your blending sponges. Um, but it's not something I would actually go out of my way to purchase. I used about half of this for this year. So that's about a dollar 30 and we are up to $25 and 45 cents. Uh, next is the Elemis Pro Collagen Marine Cream. This came with my Elemis face wash with the little kit I bought. Honestly, didn't see this do anything. It's, um, it's an anti-aging cream, wrinkle cream. I don't have a lot of wrinkles. I don't, in fact, I don't really have wrinkles. I do have creasing under my eyes. I do have texture under my eyes. Didn't notice this doing anything for any of that. And honestly, I don't like purchasing 
I don't like purchasing products that are supposed to prevent something because you can't tell if they're actually preventing it, if that makes sense. So to me, it seems like we're going to prevent aging. Well, one, you're not actually going to prevent aging because everybody ages. But two, um, it's just extra money going to something that you don't even know you need. You don't even know if it's going to work. <laughs> just keep, I mean, I do have some stuff that to me is what's keeping my skin looking as good as it does so I don't not sure I could actually look much better in terms of that my skin has been doing very very well other than the problem I had this summer so something like this just seems a bit I don't know and this one this little tube was would be thirty eight dollars and forty cents to purchase like I said I bought these as samples and some of these samples you could just they were just for the shipping. I used about $12.80 of it. I would not repurchase it. Like I said, I like the, the face wash. I do like the, uh, the moisturizer. I just, they're too pricey for me, I think. And I can find other products that does the same thing without having to empty my wallet quite so much. So next is... Um, actually a holy grail item for me and I'm really kind of upset that um, Hush is no longer carrying it because I found it in a sample of H from Hush. I purchased my first and my second bottle, which I, I shouldn't say jar, which I've just started uh, from Hush and that is the Claire's Vitamin E leave-in mask. I do not use this as a mask. I use this twice a day and my recent bottle, this jar didn't come with one, but my recent jar came with a little spoon, which I think is nice because the little sample was slightly different consistency than this. And since it was in a little packet, it was a lot easier to control um, how much of it I took out and used. I use this twice a day on my skin and the little itty bitty spoon that they have um, actually helps portion it out better I think um, and still gets it all over my face and down my neck so when I had my issues last summer I was doing um, I was using vinegar and doing a few other things to help clear it up but I'll be honest with you I think this finished clearing that up I use it twice a day if you don't rinse it off it says mask it's more like a uh, an extra boost in um, hydration and more like a serum to me and I think the vitamin E is what really helps keep my skin um, looking good and healed and I've noticed that if I do have any issues this really seems to help just clear everything up. This is $27 a bottle but it is absolutely worth it. If you get one item that's a high-end skincare item I highly recommend that this be it. Um, as you can see from the line, I was about halfway when I started, and I think I used it up a lot faster because I've had this for some time, actually. I think I've had this for closer to five or six months since my problem was in June and July of last year. I think I got it mid-July, so I've actually used quite a bit more this the last couple of months than I did when I first got it, and so I think that little spoon's going to help with that. Um, but so I've used about 1350 of it and we are at 5175 and again uh, just like the Manuka Honey Mafura oil if you're looking for moisture this is it if you're looking for something to really help your skin this is it um, highly 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 recommend it and yes I've already purchased a new one and I will continue to do so so next I have the Shea Moisture Manuka Honey Mafura Oil Intensive Hydration Conditioner as I mentioned with the milk this line is just the best for my hair it really really loves it very moisturizing um, unlike the milk well like the milk and unlike the milk I do tend to actually mix this but I don't mix it with water I mix it with the ores um, conditioner that I love so much from another curl box that I got um, that one gives it a lot of scent the two of them work really well together they are very similar in how my hair reacts to them and um, so again that's to help cut down the cost because the ores is like five dollars a bottle and this is twelve dollars a bottle I'm not sure if this is my first one I'm, or my second one I think it's my second one because we are talking about a year and us curly girls use a lot of conditioner a lot of conditioner 
and I didn't get the ores until October or something like that, much later in the year. So definitely used a lot of this up. Anyway, again, a net, just it's a great line. It's a great conditioner. Um, I love the pump. The pump makes it easy, except for when you get to the, the very end. Then you kind of have to turn it down and just kind of bang it on your hand. Um, but other than that, it's a really nice, thick, moisturizing conditioner that I do recommend. Uh, like the milk, it's $11.99. I did use probably about $6 of this, maybe a little less. I'm guesstimating because I didn't put a line on it. Only because when it's in the shower, it's a little harder to tell. So we're just guessing at $6. And that puts it, it puts us at $57.75 for the first two months. And my last item that I have used up for my Rouge Challenge is the Ors Olive Oil Style and Curl Defining Smooth and Whole Pudding Infused with Coconut Oil. And it says for restorative shine. I did not use this for styling. I, I actually don't like puddings for styling. Um, I'm finding I do like butters for moisture and stuff like that, but I don't like pudding type styling creams. I actually much prefer a gel, a light gel, but a gel. And uh, so I ended up using this as a preconditioner, not what it's intended for, but with the coconut oil and all of that, it actually did work for my hair. Um, however, not something I'd repurchase again because it's just that's not what it's for and I don't use it what it's for so um, it's good it did moisturize my hair it did help when I was uh, shampooing but again not something I would repurchase this would cost uh, this cost six dollars and 29 cents and I didn't use that much of it I don't think I marked oh I did mark it so right about there so I used, I think, about a dollar fifty-eight of it, dollar fifty-nine, which puts me at fifty-nine dollars and thirty-two cents so far on my reverse rouge challenge. I've got a long way to go, folks. <laughs> long way to go. But um, from this point on, well, there's a few products still that would probably end up being not full uses where I'm only using a quarter or a third or half of the product to finish it up for this challenge. But most of the items from now on should be pretty much stuff that I'm using the full jar for. And hopefully we will um, get these numbers up a little higher because we are already behind. But that is it. That's my products right now for my Reverse Rouge Challenge my first update. I will be talking to you again in about two months and we will see where we're at. I'm kind of hoping we'll move ourselves along. What I am finding that this reverse challenge, uh, reverse roots challenge is doing for me is one, it is making me a bit more focused on certain products. So uh, I think I found problems with uh, panning projects because you're using just this blush and you're using just this thing. I felt like there was no flexibility, but with the reverse rouge, there is flexibility, but when I find something that's getting on the low end, then I can focus on it and get rid of it. And I can get rid of it in my own time because the other thing is, is I do get an influx of samples and other things. I do go to sample sites to order samples and things like that to keep trying so I have stuff for you. And um, so I have a constant influx. So there are times when like I have to set aside the face wash that I'm using to try this new face wash that I have a sample of. And so the, the pro panning project can be a little more difficult for me to do because it requires a lot more focus than I find that I have and I'm capable of doing. So this challenge, however, has that flexibility where I'm using it up, it's for the whole year, and um, I can get back to it at any time and not feel like I failed and hopefully finish up whatever it is that's left out of that particular product. That's where we're at right now and I hope you, if you are participating, I hope you're doing really well in your Reverse Rouge. So that's it for the day and I hope you liked what you've seen and if you're not subscribed, I hope you will subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I upload. I currently upload four days a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday, but we do occasionally have, you know, 
a bonus video here and there. And we are heading into summer and the summer video videos, uh, my garden videos are going to be coming up very soon. And those are generally not really on a regular schedule or on a regular basis. So if you're into gardening, you'll definitely want to ring that bell. And if you're part of my notification squad, you will want to you'll want to check both your bell and your subscription since those are both being problematic for a lot of people. But if you don't subscribe, well, we would be disappointed and sad. However, you're always welcome back. We're always open to having company here. And if you do come back again, don't forget to bring your cup of tea. Might as well want to show you that. There we go. So it's been sitting a while. You know, should be nice and deep and fully developed. Let's give it a taste and see if that bitterness has increased or if it's kind of settled out. The bitterness has increased, not a lot, but I'm definitely getting more of it and I'm getting it earlier in the sip. You do get the chocolate. I really think this could have been mellowed out with some milk, so that would have been a nice thing to have. Anyway, that's it. That's it for the day. I hope you're all having a great one.